Hi, welcome to Mrs. Purple Paws. This is another Thrifting Thursday, and this Thursday we are themed. We are doing things that I have thrifted that are actively used in my kitchen. Uh, as you can see, I've got a whole array in front of me. So welcome to the kitchen episode. I'm glad you're here. Um, if you like this kind of thing, if you like seeing what you can add to around your own house, please like, subscribe, all the things, share, tell your friends, come join us for like a fun, pragmatic thrifting journey. Um, it'll be just great to have more people. <laughs> so we'll get started with this picture over here. This, I mean, you could use this for anything you want, obviously. It's just a picture. It does have a few little tiny chips, but it is purple. It is really intricate looking. It's very pretty. Uh, it is probably like a, you know, like a TJ Maxx, Ross kind of store find. That's the vibe I get on it. I use it for a very specific purpose. I have three dogs and two cats, and they all use the same water bowl. Now, the cats have their own water, but they almost always drink out of the dogs. And so we put fresh water in this every morning, and then we use this to fill the bowl throughout the day so that we're not having to pick up the bowl full of the dog drool and nastiness. I mean, obviously, yes, we clean the bowl maybe like every other day, but we don't need to clean it just every time our big dog empties it. So we keep that next to it so that we're not constantly running the bowl back and forth and it works for us. So that does live in my kitchen. I was so worried about this breaking because it's ceramic. I actually have a second purple pitcher as like a backup pitcher. I've already purchased it. Um, this one's kind of obvious, but this is a meatloaf pan, um, kind of a fancy one. It has like a pattern on here. I use this, um, almost weekly. I tend to do a lot of uh, baking of meatloafs at once and then I put them in the freezer because they're easy to do. My partner and I like to do meatloaf Monday. He's very big on certain meals on certain days. This is a, um, what's it say, Fire King. It's a really nice glass piece. It works fantastic as a meatloaf tray um, or bread tray or whatever. So obviously lots of bakeware and that kind of stuff. You bring it home, you wash it and ta-da, you've got a new thrift store implement. This is a scoop. It's a one quarter cup. It still has the measurements on it. It was purple. So this will become a fun scoop um, that I have in my dog's food actually. So I give them a quarter cup every night so I can get miss extra cups. Not These aren't my like baking measuring cups obviously, but if you need a cup for things like laundry detergent or dog food, you can pick them up singularly at the thrift store in the color that you want. This is an obvious one, but candles, we have several. Actually, this one, when I'm not filming, lives on my kitchen counter. Um, so lots of candles to be had at thrift stores if you decorate your kitchen or have a kitchen uh, candle on the stove, like my mom always used to have one in the center. So it's a common place. I think a lot of people have candles in their kitchen. Um, don't pay full price for them. Pay 50 cents for them. That would be nice. This is a spatula, but it knows what color it is right and it's really heavy duty i don't it doesn't have like a brand on it or anything but this thing is like solid it feels like um melamine melanine plastic however you pronounce that so i was excited to find this because it was like heavy duty and per again purple uh same thing with this spatula purple spatula i try to make all my cooking stuff purple it doesn't always work out that way but again if i find it purple i grab it this is a fun bread towel. Um, this came from a yard sale. And I point that out because obviously I was yard sailing here in the Midwest in the summertime. Um, but this is a Christmas towel. It was brand new. It still had its tags on it. No one had ever even used it. Here it was at this yard sale. I think it was a dollar. I think it came with a matching Christmas pot holder. Um, and it is now like the holiday bread basket with its like green holly berries. And I, I do sometimes use it to dry out summer vegetables on, on the counter. So it went into daily rotation. It's not as white as it used to be, but just keeping your eyes open for all seasons all the time is an important tip. Speaking of seasons, this is a fun one. This is a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder. It still has its thrift store tag on it for $4.99. I probably paid $4.99. This was like a last minute purchase because I got in my head, I wanted to make chai tea. And you can get like whole little cloves and put them in here and grind them up. And so I use this for my holiday baking. This gets used like every Thanksgiving when I make a pumpkin pie or the few times a winter I feel like making chai tea. It's a lot of work to do all the spices yourself. And I didn't want to 
spend a lot of money on a coffee grinder. I don't grind, I could grind coffee in here. I just, I don't really have a need to. I don't usually buy whole bean coffee, but certainly little appliances that you're not gonna use very often um, can easily be found um, at thrift stores. I was so fun, amused, like I said, it's been several years now that I've used this. I still have the tag on it uh, because that makes me happy that I only paid $4 with it and it'll be on its like fifth or sixth holiday season now. So it's definitely earned its keep with the $4. This is kind of funny. This mug says friend of the library just barely. It is super, super faded. It has been through so many washes. This bird in the middle, it's a bird, first of all, and it used to be blue and yellow, and you can just barely see where it was uh, because I love how this mug fits my hand. My fingers go through, they wrap around, and that makes me happy still. So this is my most used, most loved mug. It has never broken. It totally came from a thrift store. It doesn't even say which library. It's like generic library swag made in china says on the bottom so fun ceramic cup that said became my like everyday mug um, when i was drinking coffee so much coffee out of that the last two fun things i want to show you i have together here which was organizational containers this is a refrigerator glass um for those of you who don't know what refrigerator glass is it's a nice rectangle container they come in long they come in short. They usually have lids with pictures of fruit or vegetables on it. This particular one, um, the lid busted. And so this was like by itself for 50 cents. I use this to keep in here uh, vitamin C, crystal light, iced tea. It just like tea bags. I don't have so much of it that it can't all fit in here. And this keeps everything nice and tidy for when you want a drink that's not like a coffee drink or whatever. Um, and so this lives up in, up in the cupboard next to all the cups and it keeps everything looking really nice. I like using glass to organize my spaces, the refrigerator, the cupboards, that kind of stuff. That said, I found this basket. Look at how perfectly it fits the chips. <laughs> I have struggled with where to put the chips in the pantry and now they look so cute in this basket. It just like, slides in there in front of everything and it it makes me happy all the time because <laughs> I'm just like look at that look at how perfectly they fit and if I have more than the six bags they just kind of like sit on top um but yeah this is the slides in and it's deep our pantry is not very big but it is very very deep it has like 22 inch deep shelves so this can slide around move around very easily obviously chips don't weigh that much and it's a very sturdy reimbursed basket it's in the spirit of longer burger it is not an actual longer burger basket it is just kind of a well-made sturdy generic basket so yeah if you want to do any organization i highly recommend thrift store containers and this was our kitchen episode i'm going to say kitchen episode part one because it feels to me like the kitchen would probably come around a second time so let me know what you think again like and subscribe we're so glad you're here mrs stands for mostly random shit so please join us on this journey we'll see you next time